So I'm wondering, you know, you've been in the game for a long time, but is does the main event, table draws aside, does the main event get you fired up? <laughs> you know, have you been looking forward to this this year? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I mean, this is the tournament. Yeah. You know, I mean, every, everyone says it's like a platitude. Yeah. Um, but it's true. But it's true, yeah. you know. Um, and uh, one of the first things you pray for in this tournament is get a decent table draw. So, but I think so I may have got the worst table draw in the history of the main event since it, uh, you know, it, since, since it went up around 5,000 and more people. You uh, don't expect that many, like 75% of the table. I don't even, there's only a couple well, of Well, the Swedish know. guys are pro as well. Yeah, I heard he won like the Nordic Masters. Or yeah, something yeah. Like but that. the other guy, what you got? Uh, Matt Ashton. Matt Ashton. Aikenhead. Aikenhead. Greg Aiken Muller. And Alex, Alex Jacob, Jacob. This Jeopardy champion. Who just won the Jeopardy, all of whom I've you know, played against. And, and even the bad bits so far, we're only one level in. But the two weaker players have lost a lot of their ships. Mm -hmm. Two. Two, two, two of these, you know, to Matt Ashton and, and Greg Muller. Not what you want so to see. Now, so now they're nice and strong and confident with loads of chips. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm, I'm curious about someone who's really, you've seen you've seen a lot, you've seen it all in the poker world kind of thing, and uh, I'm wondering if this tournament really gets you fired up. Like, when you sit down in the main event, when you walk into the main event, do you still get that feeling like you used to get, maybe? Because uh, I actually saw the first score on your hand and record is the main event, 1997, the, the year Stu Unger won his third. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a good question. I mean, is, is, is the buzz the same? No, it's different. I mean, the first time I played in the main event was 97, and I got down to the last couple of tables. Mm -hmm. But I sort of remember that with a vividness mm -hmm. that one would remember. You know, it's a bit like the time you do something for the first time. Yeah. So, so it is different. Is it a nostalgic feeling now a little bit, or are you just still excited to get out here? I mean, it's a different tournament now than it was. Well, I mean, the funny, funny thing is, uh, it's a good thing to remember that, um, because, you, you know, well, I think one of the reasons why younger people tend to win, um, uh, I mean, there's, there's a lot of different reasons, I think, but the last, I think, eight or nine years, uh, somebody in their 20s has won the main event. And I'd say one of the, the main reasons for that, which people don't really discuss a lot, is, is the fact that um, you're so focused mm -hmm. when it's your first or one of your first times playing. Yeah. So, so there's a level of intensity which you bring, first of all, if it's, if it's your first or one of your first times playing, but also youth itself yeah. brings an intensity with it, mm -hmm. which in some ways um, can be harder to replicate whenever you're older, yeah. because, because simply because you've seen so much. Mm -hmm. um, and it seems if, um, if the statistics are anything to go by, um, just being really determined and focused. Has a big difference. Maybe the biggest difference you can probably bring to the main event. Yeah. I mean, we, you touched on it a little bit. This is definitely a, a different tournament than it was you know, in decades past. And I'm wondering, what, what are your memories of 1997? That was kind of a historic year in the poker world with Stewie coming back <laughs> and winning. You know, it's, it's a pretty crazy story, but you were there. What was it like? Yeah, um, well, was that I, one of your I, first I mean, times playing in the WSOP? Or what, yeah, you know? only, it took me 10 years to actually get to America because I was just first around in small mm -hmm. games. So there wasn't, there was hardly enough money in Ireland to, to have one buy-in into the main event between <laughs> us, you know? And, uh, and basically, uh, whenever I played in it, um, I, remember, I remember I was all in on a bluff against Ted Forrest yeah. in the first level. In 97. Yeah, in 97. So you're like, welcome to Las Vegas. <laughs> At the first level, you know. And, uh, and, and just, uh, you know, there was only, I think there was 312 people that year. I mean, I won't be far off. There was just over 300 mm -hmm. people. And it was a big deal. They used to write the names up on the wall every time somebody bought in. Okay. So, so you'd see your names go up on a giant board up on the wall, and you know, the different numbers. So it would be a huge, a huge deal. I mean, ten thousand then is. I, I, don't, yeah, no I don't know. I don't know what's that, what that's worth now. And um, I remember there were, it was in two rooms in the old Binions, and um, eventually it shrunk down to one room. And uh, the the tournament director went, and now we're in our final room, <laughs> you know. And and this was a this was a huge deal, you know, because yeah. you're sitting there and you haven't played. I mean, 300 people was an awful lot of people. Yeah, $10,000 was an awful to, lot of money. And to play a poker tournament then. And I also remember um, sitting nearby as well, 
a table which, thinking of difficult tables, whether it was Phil Helmer, Stu Unger, Billy Baxter, um, the Nanny Dollinson who just won the, the Women's uh, World Series, and the list goes on. There was about three or four other people, I think uh, uh, a couple of main event champions who were all mm. at the same table. So this year, um, I've seen you had a, you've had a few caches so far. The, like you talked about, the table draw here is kind of shit, but if we can get past this, I mean, are you excited making another run? Uh, you're, but you're number one uh, money winner in Ireland. I think that's something you must be proud of, and, and are you excited to be here to add to that and to, to have fun and to play, you know, like you said, this is it, this is the tournament. Yeah, yeah, you know, I mean, I, I, you know, with me, um, playing poker is usually just about avoiding making stupid mistakes, you know? Um, you know, when I do that, I tend to do well. Mm -hmm. So a lot of other people, you know, they're, they're trying to, you know, not so much do that. With me, that, that's the biggest thing. So if I just slow down, take a bit of time, you know, you never know, I can maybe accumulate some chips again. Cool, man. Thank you very much, okay. Andy. Appreciate Thank you. it. Pleasure. Good luck.